Shall we tell them the news anyway, Bob? Oh yeah, the news. So, uh... What's good, geezer gang? We are coming to you live, but not live, from London. About to get on a hotel train. Tell us more, Jojo. What's this hotel train about? Uh, about hotel train. Oh, th thanks for clearing that up. There you go, geezer gang. The hotel train is about a hotel train. So basically, you make these trains out of blocks, don't you? Uh, yeah. And you have dubbed them and named them hotel trains, haven't you? Yeah. Where's everyone's rooms? Where's everyone staying? I'm gonna put us at the top there. Oh, wicked. Up the top there? Yeah. It looks a bit unstable. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not comfortable with this. Okay, <laughs> does that look stable? Yeah, it does. Who else is gonna be staying where? Um, Chance and Sam are staying in our, that room. Okay, they'll have the window open, no doubt. Jamie and Daniel are in that room. Okay, so we've got Sam and Sean in number two, Jamie and Daniel in number seven, and we're well away from all their noise up there. That's good. This is uh, your dad's room, mummy, with Chris. <laughs> he might want a separate room from and Chris. And this is your mummy's room here. This is your mummy's cool. room, mama. Nanny's going to be in there as well, okay. Uncle Dan Dan and... And all the rest are in there. Oh, well, they're all, well, they're all just crammed in there, are they? Yeah. <laughs> what about five and eight? Are those not yet filled? They have a little bit of a party in there. Eight's the party room. Uh, that's the, also the lunch room. So, right, me and Mummy are going to sneak from down there while everyone's asleep and then go to the lunch room and party room. Does that sound about right, Mummy? Why hasn't our room got a number? It's round on the front. Well, I want it displayed in the correct way, please. Turn it round. Otherwise, I'm giving up the room. That sticker's the window and it's facing that way. So, tell me flying! I believe I can fly! Okay. So yes, I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. So Jojo's been building a hotel train. We did some learning this morning. That noise in the kitchen is Katie returning to some juicing. Anyone would think that this is a bit of hard work, but it's just a mechanism. Please demonstrate, mother. No one's gonna know why you just shouted juicing at them. You gotta tell them the story about juicing. Stop doing that! You can't talk it. You're obsessed with doing that. You enjoy it too much. So a few years back, there was a local market around the corner and there was a guy who had all fruits and veg. At the end of the market, he stands on the side of the lorry and just like gets a pile of fruit and veg and just goes, right, two pound, two pound for this, who wants it? And you just put your hand up and everything. And there was this big box of like battered apples and nobody wanted them. And he's like, two pound, come on. You can use them for juicing. And I thought, oh yeah. So I put my hand up and he just shouted, Juicing at me. <laughs> that was like his soul. Juicing. So every time now we're, we're juicing, we just like Bob comes yeah. along and he just say, shouts juicing. juicing. But more importantly, though, you had a big box of apples and you didn't have a car that day. How did you get them home? <laughs> do you remember now, do you? A Jojo was in the buggy because he was about three, I think. He had a tray in front, and so I just plonked the apples in front of the. He was buried in fruit, which is not a bad way to be buried, to be honest. Anyway, resume your juicing. And Kat Samir is just looking out the window, thinking about memories past. Sam has gone to work, and Jamie has gone to work as well. You remember in the previous video, I mentioned that she'd gone for a job interview. Well, she got the job. Yeah, she got the job. And you won't believe what her job is. <laughs> Me! Yes, I'm serious. That is her actual job. She's doing deliveries on her bike. But she's also waitressing as well. It's in a very swanky restaurant in a very swanky part of London as well. I don't know what that would be like. Me! The hotel train has developed quite a lot now. There's someone else on another tower. Hang on a sec. So we're going to be in there. What's up here then? That is the officer's tower. The caretaker of the train. Okay, I would prefer to have a higher one than them, please. Juicing delivery. Thank you, Mama. Jojo, have you by any chance had green juice? You seem to have quite the moustache. Jojo just said you wanted to do something, but no. Jo no. I came in like a wrecking ball. You're a monster. We've all collapsed. Luckily, you can smash through the window. Oh, yeah, lucky for us. Now, what you got there, Jojo? It look, may look like a smoothie bowl, but it's actually a very berry filled porridge. Got cherries, strawberries, blueberries. This, however, is a smoothie bowl. Now, accompanied by green juice, as Jojo took mine. This is a very beautiful bowl, mummy. Thank you. What's going on? We just had an electric man. Not an electric man, not an electrician come. One of our plug sockets was kind of hanging off. Yeah, it's all back. Cool. Fix it. It's all back, back in business. So we can put our cushions back in the corner now? No, I'm sitting here. People think that's a sofa, but it's not. It's just a bunch of cushions. And it's the return of Scooty McTooty. Ready, steady, go! go. Oh, it's chilly. It's very chilly. 
We're just heading out and walking the graveyard. We've got stuff to do. Takes us a while to get out of the door, but once we are out, we're glad to be out. Even though it's very, very cold. Guess what, gang? I was actually scooting without looking forward. That's how good scooting up to is. That's called muck scooting. Just to put context, when Jojo's on the sco scooter, we call him Scooty McTooty. I believe I introduced the idea of this uh, a while back without really any idea of where it came from. And still now, there's no idea of where it came from. This is just my mind. Every, Come in. <laughs> everything starts off as a thought in somebody's mind. Everything. Don't, don't all start getting all deep on us. <laughs> it's true. We're simple, which is all we like. This is random stuff comes out of my brain. No reasoning. You will be getting more. Comment below if you want more random stuff from my brain. Bananas. Hey, Gator gang, Gator gang. Do you want to see me do something? Not through the puddle. Wash his jeans now. Speaking of Jojo's jeans, right? Some people in the comments are saying, Oh, Jojo's grown. Jojo looks taller, like since we've been away. And look, these are the new trousers we got him. And look what's happened. They're the new ones? Yeah. My goodness. I destroyed them. You destroyed look, them with look, your height. Look, how, look how, how much sock area there is. <laughs> My goodness. But they're the best socks you can show off as well. Googly monster socks to show off. Stop going through puddles. I think Jojo will be about six foot five to six foot seven. I decided to measure him. I think he's grown in the last six to eight weeks or so, two mm. centimeters. Yeah, he's grown loads because Sam's six foot seven. So we've definitely got um, tall jeans, haven't we? Yeah, well, he's got short jeans. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and for those of you that still insist that Jojo must be older than six years, and he is just six years old. He's just very, very tall. They, some people probably still won't believe it though. Yeah. All right, he's 15. We get into town. I go to the toilet and look where I find these two. What are you up to? Nothing. Trouble. What are those? No. Bombay mix. Bit too salty. You're not salty McTalty. Did Holland and Barrett not deliver anything for you? Nah. Nah. They didn't have any decent offers on it then. Remember Black Friday when they actually were worse than they normally are? On yeah. the, <laughs> the buses get it. This pub gets it. So we're here to get some new books. We've returned your old ones, haven't we? Buy some good books. What have you found? Elmer. Elmer. So you've chosen your books, have you? Yeah. Put them down. Let's see which ones we've got. So we've got this tall red riding hood. Mighty Monty. Mighty Monty. Kipper's yeah. monster. Elmer and the stranger. Help, we need a title. Help, we need a title. Yes. That's a funny one. Should we go and scan them out? Oh, let me look. It's just going to come. Oh, oh, oh. What are we doing in here? I don't know. Going up? No, we're not. No, we're not going anywhere. We've got to press the button. <laughs> it's, it's the same as where we just were. Go to the toilet again, and these two are at it with Lego again. Is this what happens every time I go away? Mummy wants to get this, but it's too expensive, man. We've taught them expense, and it's going against you now. <laughs> That's the thing we looked at before, wasn't it? In America, and it was thirty-five dollars. We didn't need it then, and we don't really need it now. If it meant that I would go and unhappy, could you be considered a need? No. Damn it. So Jojo, very soon it's going to be a time called Valentine's Day is when you send something to someone that you love. And would you want to send something to your girlfriend? Sienna! Sienna! And then again, you haven't got any other girlfriend, have you? Yeah, I've only got one. Just the one. She's the one for me. But I have also got two wives. So you've got two wives as well? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Geezer gang, I'm so sorry. We're going to cut here, okay, Jojo? We'll, we'll talk about this another time. No, no, no. no. I actually am going to do two for my wives. Before we went on holiday, Jojo, you fitting into this was a lot easier. Now it's quite the squeeze. You're in the recycling van. Hello. What does this say? I love how they just state the obvious. Please ensure that children are supervised at all times when using these rides. Basically, be a parent. I think some people need to be told to be parents. Well, I don't know about you. I was planning, up until reading that sign, I was planning on just leaving him here and going and smashing the window. We could have gone to the cinema. Oh, no. Damn signs. Who's that tall stranger? Sam! Don't act like you don't know us. Sam! I'm totally on the phone to my girlfriend. Shut up, Dad. Spitty McTooty's here, Sam! How are you doing, brother? He is so cheeky. It's like he doesn't even know us anymore. Like he walked past us. Ignored us. And then asked us for a lift. To the local town which he can walk to. Or get a bus. <laughs> Unbelievable. He shouldn't have ignored us. They don't even know they're born! Look who's come to greet us. Hello. 
and you're following us back, are you? Yep, you're following Katie? Okay. There we are, on cue. You took your time. And this is what happens on a regular basis nowadays. I lie down and she comes here. I think some of the geezer gang actually said this before about it's a confirmation of that they treat you like their own and care for you. Shall we tell them the news anyway, Bob? Oh <laughs> yeah, the news. So uh, I guess it's because we've noticed certain behaviors in her that we noticed before when she stayed with us a year ago. She's, uh, <laughs> she's pregnant. We saw when we came back she was bigger and she's been staying with us pretty much every moment she can since we got back. So yeah, we noticed uh, her belly. There's a lot of movement going on in there where obviously there's kittens moving around. They're like crawling around like this. Yeah, you can see them all moving. Mm. I think she's going to give birth to them any day now. She's been laying around a lot, hasn't she? And she's been extremely, like, on edge. But she's been doing weird things, like chewing wires. She actually chewed through the wire for the charger for my Mac. And I'll tell you what, I'm not buying another one after what happened last time when I had to go all the way to Apple's headquarters and basically steal a charger and then fly back. Not doing that again. You can't sprawl your hair out to try and get your hair licked as well. Nah. I, that, I'm, I'm, I don't care how much hair you've got. She likes mine better. What, she always licks the top of your head, doesn't she? I noticed the other day, I literally just went all the way around and got myself a wash. Yeah. Can I lick my head? Should we clickbait them? <laughs> clickbait the geezer again? We, I think we're going to clickbait her. Yeah, you've tell, been clickbaited. Tell them somebody's pregnant. <laughs> yeah. They might think it's me. Oh no, I'm sorry if we disappointed you. I am getting broody though, I'm getting She so actually broody. said to me earlier, I want another baby and my eyeballs fell on the floor. They popped out that quickly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. But you know what? It's a big decision. It's a big it's, responsibility. Yeah, it's a big responsibility. Time, money, you know. It's not just like, oh, I want a baby and then one. You've got to think about how it affects everything and everyone. Yeah, yeah. and with regards to cats me being pregnant, for those of you that are on this channel and maybe have not seen her before, she's not a cat that actually lives with with us she lives in a <laughs> neighboring place and she just chose last year to come start staying with us at which point we found out she was pregnant and she went back to have babies and she's done the same this time we did say to the lady that maybe she should have the operation no it's not I mean, alcohol, it's is not it? alcohol. It's this is the thing it's hard with animals like cats because they're so independent but I still don't like the idea of ever classing that we own them you know we cohabit and maybe help care for them as well and give them a warm place maybe to stay and sleep which we have with cats here at the moment but we weren't the reason for her to be living in in any sort of place she's been living with someone else and then just having a very extended enjoyable holiday with us thing is though as well i'm wondering is she going to have the babies in here and as well what are we going to do with them because we're going to have to say to the lady that she cohabits with like she's had kittens and how you have we to collect how her, are we yeah. going to move them back or anything i just don't know but i feel like even if we try and stop her from coming in which we have done before she climbs in the window Left sam open. has his window open all night she just comes in sometimes we'll literally be opening the door to go out and she's there and she comes rushing in the last thing you want to be doing is shoving her out of there yeah because we do, we try not to pick her up oh she's actually got a whole flipping one of your hairs in her mouth yeah stick with the short hair that's why yours is literally too much of a mouthful i don't think you can have just long hairs for her to lick on the floor do you want to lick my eyebrows <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. We're getting a full makeover by a cat. A pregnant cat. So that is the uh, beautiful bright news. We will be not having additions to this family, but Katsmere is going to be having babies. And if she has the babies in our home, do you want to see them? <laughs> Live stream a cat giving birth. No, that's private. Kidding. Cats are the biggest stars on the internet, or have you know? They're the ones that started off YouTube. Some humans video their births, don't they? It's not as if like cats and me would be on the front of OK Magazine afterwards with like a litter. I would probably be more interested in a cat on the front of OK with her litter of kittens than I am with celebrities. <laughs> right. Let's go and have some food now. My hair's been groomed. She's moved on. And your hair wasn't good enough. I like your hair. Oh, gross. <laughs> what have you got for us, Mama? It's a uh, sort of Caesar salad. There you go. Thank you, Mummy. What's in the sauce, Mummy? Cashew nuts, celery, nutritional oh. yeast, lemon juice, onion. You need to be able to do a cheers with food, like we're on the fork. No, because they all, all fall off. I've got this well under control. Cheers. cheers. It didn't fall off, cut. Shout out time. 
I'm just being nice and calm with the way I'm speaking, just not to spook old pregnant cat Samir here. So I just want to give a big shout out to BVB Army. Commented recently on a video asking for a shout out, so thanks for watching. If you want any shout outs, guys, just let us know in the comments below and let us know what you think about this video. We're sorry to click about you, but it's all good fun. Let us know what you think. We always welcome your comments. And if you're new to this channel, we'd love it if you subscribed and followed our journey through life. We're uploading every few days or so now, but otherwise we hope to get back to daily videos. You can hit that notification bell so you can be updated on exactly when our new videos will be coming out. And how do you subscribe? You slam it. And also, if you're on the laptop, hit the pink poo that mummy is holding. Now I am and is your fifth. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out. Bye. Bye. I'm hugging you and stuff.